everyone, and welcome to Miss Buster Monday. I said Miss Buffalo well, Monday. <laughs> it's okay, nobody's watching. Welcome this anyway. to it's Monday, so nobody's watching. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here with Dr. Murphy. He is busting some myths, confirming some facts. Today, Doc, are you ready for you, Myth Buster? Yeah. Okay, so the Myth Buster is this. Is it true that there is a thing? I don't really know how I asked this one, actually. It's about alopecia. Mm -hmm. Is it true that they said that they found something that might help to temporarily, uh, I hate to say cure, because it, from what I've read, it doesn't work. Cure, treat, are there things you can do for it? Sure. Okay. And are there multiple types of alopecia, and what are they? Uh, that's too long a to topic. Well, see, here's what I found about alopecia. There's autoimmune alopecia. <coughs> Which steroids helps. Uh, which is different than male pattern baldness, okay? Mm -hmm. And then there's um, <coughs> alopecia areata, alopecia mm -hmm. universalis. Mm -hmm. So the latter the one is, is could be anywhere. The one I love is alopecia totalis. What's that? Is that the last one I said? No. What's that? Um, totalis? Totalis, yeah. What is that? It's everywhere. Yeah, completely bald. Everywhere. Well, that's Not what universalis body. is. It says complete loss of all body, right. face, okay. scalp, all of it. And then um, alopecia areata is, um, well, yeah, use universalis and totalis. Yeah. Oh, God, you're so good. You know your Latin. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> so, so one of them I affects. Know it's, it's so good for you. I'm so proud. Um, We're glad about that. Um, alopecia areata affects nearly 2% of the general population. And it can be more like patches, mm -hmm. which is different than male patches. So, no, just the lost patch of hair. What causes that? Uh, nobody really knows for sure. It could be infections, trauma. Uh, yeah. Just nobody really knows. And traction alopecia. Thyroid disease. Hairs. Yeah, thyroid disease. Some underlying mental illness. Absolutely. And Stress. Is, so what's a good cure for it or treatment? Treat your underlying cause. Okay. So whatever you, you just have to drill it back down to what you think it is caused mm -hmm. by. Mm -hmm. Well, there's apparently this new um, drug out there. It's called uh, oh, a medicine good. known as a JAK inhibitor. Mm -hmm. It says the drugs suppress the immune system, making it a unable to attack hair follicles and stop hair growth. However, they are only FDA approved for conditions like psoriatic and rheumatoid arthritis, not alopecia totalis. Universalis, mm -hmm. and that your hair will grow back most likely, or will the, the hair that grew back will fall out. Okay. So Is there a myth I'm supposed to bust here? Yeah. <laughs> there is a myth. I guess my question was. Is there anybody else here that's not busy to come take your place? No, I really did a bad job, Dan. I'm you're, you're, sleep deprived. You're, you're, you're. <laughs> Let's see, what would be the myth about this? I have Is that medicine word? The answer is yes. Yes, that was what it was. Okay, yeah, is, it, is it true that there is a such a thing? Sure. But the downfall to it apparently is your hair might grow. Don't forget McDonald's french fries. Yeah, you rub that grease on your head. Uh, rub the grease on your head, grow the hair. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to tell them what that means in case they aren't watching all our videos? Oh, it was actually an old uh, article that came out that the oil in McDonald's french fries is actually causes hair growth. So I'm going to go buy McDonald's. Every morning, get me a large fry and just rub it on your armpits. Rub, rub it all over my hair and rub it on my chest. Oh, that's funny. Yeah. You're rubbing it under ears? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right. Well, I guess really the myth was is there really a thing that's helping it? Sure. It's out there. Is. They're going to find a cure for meal pattern baldness pretty soon anyway. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, Have a good it. Monday. Have a good Monday, guys. <laughs>